I am getting ready to go into my first Goodwill store in months. Um, I drove all the way to New Hampshire only to be able to shop for less than an hour. It was just one of those days. We've had some family stuff going on. I had two closet consults in the middle of the day today and my second one ended at four o'clock and I looked at my watch and I said, it's an hour to Goodwill in New Hampshire because in Massachusetts, things are still closed. I'm here and um, there are people waiting outside and the parking lot is packed. So I'm not sure when I'll get in. I did not anticipate not being able to go shopping right away. So we'll see. I'm going to go in and uh, I have no budget. I'm going to buy everything I want <laughs> and I'm so excited and I just hope there's just something that brings me joy. And I'm going to try to take you along with me. Um, we'll see how much footage we can get in there, but you bet we are going to have a nice big haul at the end of this. I hope, I hope and things are closing at 6 p.m. So I don't have much time, but I just had to do it. All right. I've been itching. So I've been waiting just about five minutes to go in. It looks like there's a 28 person limit in the store. So there were two people ahead of me. I'm just waiting for the next person to come out and I'm so sad because they close in 45 minutes but I really want to experience it and see what things were going to be like. So we'll see. Yay I made it in. Um, went right for the shoes because it's always quick and easy to go through shoes and shoes also have a great great uh, return. These weren't anything special um, and look at how empty the racks were. I was actually so surprised. Um, spoiler alert I did not find much in here. Um, saw these. I like this brand, but I wasn't into this style this time of year. Um, I don't even think these were real leather, but they were cute. I was generally disappointed and I feel like my expectations were so high. So maybe I just needed to adjust my expectations. Um, and I've been going through so much inventory at home that um, I'm honestly very picky. If you look really quickly at the bottom, they do have arrows on the floor. You have to go in one direction. I kept going the wrong way, but nobody scolded me. Um, by the time I was walking through here, um, there may have only been four or five people in the store. There were a fair amount of people dropping off donations, which um, there's a whole new list of rules for when you're actually donating. Um, but anyways, really nothing exciting. American Eagle, LuLaRoe, New York and Company. I pick up Lori Goldstein if I'm at the bins, but not here. That honestly could not have been more of a bust. Um, I got one item. I'm going to see if I can find a savers or something like that. I had not much time, but there was just not much inventory in there at all. Not good at all. Not what I was expecting. What are you going to do? Um, but we're going to see if there's anything, going to see if there's anything else around, but um, I'll keep you posted. Okay, despite the savers showing that it was closed online, I called because there was one nine miles away and I found out it was open until seven, so I hustled there. Yay, this is my happy place. Uh, the setup here was really impressive and the workers had like um, these plexiglass um, coverings over their face. They were wiping everything down. The place was immaculate and absolutely one of the biggest savers I've been in really clean um but as i'll state later in the video the prices were crazy crazy um and i was a little regretful that i didn't call savers first because i would have just come directly here it's actually a little bit closer to my home because that goodwill store was just a little bit of a waste but i was still happy that i got out it's just so nice to be back in the stores haven't been in the stores in two months so yeah this was great um, but look at this place, um, so clean. Um, those were dirty, but I love pink Adidas. Coat shoes, not gonna buy those. <laughs> I thought these were fun, um, but they were $15. So I put those back. Um, $15 dress from The Gap, $13. I'm just kind of giving you a glimpse. I ended up picking this piece up and I'll talk a little bit about this later, even though it was $14.95, $99. Um, really pretty. I'm hoping this was a good purchase. 
So by this point, as much as I loved walking around the store, the prices were pretty discouraging. Those shorts were $9.99, this low-end champion, eight bucks. Um, you know, Brandy Melville skirt, what is that, $6.49? Just, it was really difficult to get excited about much, but I managed to find a few things, and um, I think I just made it a quick visit. Those I thought were cute. Um, the athletic shorts sell okay for me. Nike Pros, I get about $17 for nothing great. Um, so I was still hunting. I just sold a Fila skirt that looked just like that gray one for full price for $24, which really shocked me. Okay, by this point, I knew the store was closing, and I don't know about you, but sometimes I get like store closing anxiety and I just start walking aimlessly or I get into this like panic mode. Uh, most of the time I was shopping, I was just wishing I had been there longer because the environment was so nice. I just wish I could have putzed around for much longer. I looked at this Playboy mug. It was $2.49. I want to look at the comps on that, but. So I really wish I had gone there first. However, the prices were so expensive and I was really anticipating sales and such, you know, heading back for the first time out of quarantine. Staff was tremendous here at Savers. Um, I think you saw some of the protective gear that they were wearing, but the prices were really high. I think I only got five or six items and I spent $47. So I'll show you what I got when I got home. A um, couple interesting things, but I think I was just really wanting to shop. I think on a normal day, I would have passed on most of these items, especially for the price. And I also asked if they would be having like a Memorial Day sale because I was anticipating so much of an influx of product. And she informed me that there is no plans for any sales in the near future. And they're always an automatic for Memorial Day sales. So I'm gonna keep watching. Maybe they'll announce it later. I know in Massachusetts, the stores won't be open, but here in New Hampshire, I'm curious what they'll do for the holiday. So I'll show you quickly what I got when I got home. This is gonna be a quick video. So you know how I am trying to be a good hard goods girl. So I just wanted to come home, do some quick research on that Playboy mug. Uh, I don't think it was anything. $12 listed here. Um, I'm gonna look at sold comps. I didn't buy it, um, but you know, I'm trying to educate myself. So these two sold for best offer on 14. This one sold for $12. Still nothing that excited me. So it looks like $12, $5.50. This is a different version, $15.99, $8.99. Anyways, if that's your thing, you might be interested in that. <laughs> that is all. So I'm finally back from my little excursion to New Hampshire. And while it wasn't, it didn't really blow my hair back, I was still really excited to get out there and to just see what was available right now. I had hopes that, you know, racks would be overflowing. They were gonna be offering two for one, 50% off because they had so much overstock and it wasn't like that at all. The first stop that I went to was in Amherst, New Hampshire. It's a Goodwill that I have been to once before when I did my tour of New Hampshire with my mom for her 70th birthday. If you wanna see that video, it's a real fun one. I'll link it up here. Uh, we went to New Hampshire and we, we just stopped at all different uh, thrift stores en route to our hotel in nice dinner for her 70th birthday. It was really fun. So that was the only other time I had been to this one, but I picked up one item. And what I got there was this sweater. This is a wool blend and it's actually really beautiful. Oh, this is good quality and I thought it was Lululemon. So I was looking all over for, um, you know, the Lululemon sign. It wasn't anywhere, there was no tag here, but what it turned out to be was not Lululemon, but it was Athleta. So I didn't pass this by because the second I touched it, I knew the quality was good. I thought it was it was gonna be Lululemon or Garnet Hill or Sundance, like something in that realm. So Athleta, this is the honeycomb tunic sweater. Um, I estimate it's like a size small or medium and it is a wool blend, so not perfect for going into summer, but I will definitely still list this. It's a really quality piece. It was $5.99. I have a little Goodwill card for when I shop in New Hampshire. It cost me $5.70. I will probably list it, I don't know, between $35 and $40 and see how it does. 
Then I left and I was very disappointed because I said to myself, I just drove an hour to go into a store um, and you saw that I waited outside before I could even get into the store. And then when I got in, I felt rushed. They started announcing that the store was going to close at 5.30 and then like every five minutes they made an announcement that the store was gonna close. So by the time it was five of six, they had made like five announcements and I'm like, okay, I get it, I, I'm going to leave. So I took that, went out into the car feeling a little discouraged and I decided to call Savers. So online, all the Savers say that they are still closed, um, but I decided to call because I was there and I had an hour ride home and I'd only found one sweater. So I did, and as you saw in the video, they were open till seven, so I beelined for savers. And it was a huge savers. And the employees were very well protected. I was really impressed with both stores, how they were conducting business and the precautions they were taking to make sure that we were safe. Of course, I wore my mask. I had my wipes in the car. So as soon as I got in the car, I cleaned my hands before I moved on. But anyways, savers, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that the savers in, I believe I was in Nashua, New Hampshire, the most expensive savers I've ever been to, which I wouldn't expect in New Hampshire. Um, and I only had 25, 30 minutes when I got there, 35 minutes when I got there. Anyways, I picked up this Bagolini. Um, I consistently pick up Bagolinis if it's the right price because it has a great sell-through rate in my closet and I'm pretty much guaranteed to get between $25 and $35 for a good Bagolini bag. And this is a good size crossbody bag and it has this really cute hot pink interior. Um, just a really good piece. So I was happy to get that. This was marked just $5.99. I did get 20% off. I had to work my magic at the register because I did not have a coupon, but it was Senior Citizen Day and I had clothing in my car, so I offered to do a donation. And then the manager said, just give the Senior Citizen rate and call it a day. So I did get 20% off. And um, in total, I spent about $54 on five pieces. I'm just realizing that now that my desk is over here, um, Lou's not in any of my videos recently. Um, so I figured I would pop her in for this quick little edit. I'm going through and I'm realizing that I forgot to mention that I bought a pair of shorts for my son Rocco. So in addition to the items that I mentioned, I did get one pair of khaki shorts, which at Savers, they had priced at $8.49 before the 20% off. Again, not my typical price range, but I figured I would include that information. So um, it was $54 for six items. So my average cost of goods on this trip was $9 per item. That's all. Say bye to everybody. We miss you. I'm excited for this. I don't know the model number of that, but it's a beautiful bag. I think I'm hoping to get upwards of like 30 for that just because it's a larger size. Then I picked up this really fun um, single stitched. I can't tell if my lighting is super dark in here. If it's just because my room is dark. I'll have to see that on the playback. Anyways, this is single stitch. So all it is is the only way to identify the easy way to identify a single stitch t-shirt is to just look right here on the hem. If it's stitched only once, it's vintage and single stitch. If it has two, two lines of stitching on the seam, it's usually not vintage, but this is clearly vintage. Um, $5.49 for this t-shirt with a big stain on the front. I'm gonna show you the stain. It's from Maui, see the stain right there? So I'm going to bleach it and I'm gonna to try to get the stain out. Um, but if I can't get the stain out, I am going to crop it or I'm going to tie dye it. I just think it's fun for all the concerts that nobody will be going to this summer. <laughs> um, but cowboy boots in Maui, I don't know if they really go, but this is really cute. Oh, and you know what's interesting? This has, um, it says casualties 1991. That's the year I graduated from high school, fun fact. Does that make me vintage? Um, 1991. So yeah, yeah, that would be vintage. <laughs> That's almost 30 years ago. Um, okay, weird reality there. Next up, I got this really pretty dress. Um, I was just looking at prices and I showed it in my video earlier, as I showed earlier. I wasn't even looking to buy dresses because I have overstock of dresses. I've, I've I'm supposed to not be picking them up. But anyways, this was $14.99. And this was par for the course. The dresses were between $9.99 and $19.99. I mean, the prices were crazy. However, 
This did just get back from the dry cleaners and it is Diane Von Furstenberg, um, which doesn't always mean it's going to be good, but I happen to really like this dress. I thought it'd be cute with um, a cardigan. I loved the ruffle detail on the bottom, kind of romantic, flowy, gives me like anthro vibes. Um, it was lined in this beautiful champagne color. It's 100% silk. So when I got home, I looked it up and the comps were really good. It's called the Olena dress, I believe, O-L-E-A-N-A -E dress. Um, and the comps were anywhere between like $30, or I think I saw one for 14, which is very low, to 140. The average being somewhere between 60 and $80. So I was pleased with that. I did not run comps, which I do not recommend. Uh, but I did not run comps because I was in a super duper hurry and I was just in there to check out the scenery and see what I could get and go home. So I had never been to the Savers before and it was really wonderful um, as far as like the layout, the cleanliness, the size, the inventory, but it was really expensive. Anyway, I have not looked up the comps on these, but by the time I post this video, I will, but I got these beautiful Sorel boots. I'm just gonna, I mean, these are distressed on the toe. That doesn't bother me even a little. I'll hit that with my Doc Martin Wonder Bomb, which um, I have linked in my Amazon store. If you're ever curious about any of the materials that I use, the supplies, 95% of it you can find on Amazon and the link is in my bio. I have an affiliate link, um, so I do get a little bit of a kickback. So I always appreciate it when anybody goes through my link. But how cool are these? So there's the Sorel. Um, I need to look into these. They have like this mesh suede and these look like a bigger size, but look at, these are in really good condition. They're in really excellent condition. But did you happen to catch that price tag? $24.99, thank you savers. Expensive, right? This says size 12 plus. This might be a tough sell because it's definitely a larger boot, um, but Sorel's usually have a great resale value and I thought these were unique enough and my thinking was I can probably get $60 for these again not very much in season but I buy things all year long if it's a good thing if it's a good brand and a good style so Sorel boots always a good pickup for me um, I'm gonna look into the style on this and I'll come back and report back um, or I'll just pop it up in the um, in the sidebar here and that was it, that's all I got. I um, did a lot of driving, not as much shopping as I did driving, but I was really excited to be out and on the ride home. Um, it, was, it was weird just listening to the radio because I have spent no time in my car. So just listening to the radio and them talking about the graduates and virtual commencements and they were doing senior shout outs and it was just weird, kind of surreal. Uh, but it was busy. It was busy in New Hampshire because uh, I think people are very excited to be out and I was happy to see people being safe. And that's all for my little haul, little haul, very little baby haul. Um, so I did get the sweater, the Bagalini bag, the vintage tee, the Diane dress and the Sorel boots. So one, two, three, three, four, five. And I spent $50. My average selling price is $30. So if you go by that, I hope to make those five pieces turn into $150. Um, so that wouldn't be bad for a flip, um, but I will keep you posted, but I will let you know what the comps are and that's all. I hope, I hope everyone's being safe if they're out shopping and enjoying a little tiptoe back into the real world. Um, have a great night, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please consider subscribing to my channel if you like reseller content. I've been in a little bit of a rhythm of doing live videos every other Friday. So I did one with Denali. I'll link that video up above if you wanna check that out. That was last Friday night. This Friday I'm taking off and I have somebody lined up for a week from Friday. So that's all everybody. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye.